What you're about to hear could change everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe. NASA just leaked classified data about an interstellar visitor that's shattering every law of physics. And government scientists are absolutely terrified about what it really is. Before we dive into the shocking evidence they've been hiding, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button, because the numbers don't lie and they're absolutely chilling. 3 i atlas is racing through our solar system at an incomprehensible 130,000 miles per hour. That's nearly 60 kilometers per second. To understand how impossible this speed is, consider that achieving this velocity naturally would require a gravitational slingshot from a black hole or neutron star, but there are no such objects anywhere near the direction this thing came from. Leaked JPL documents reveal something even more disturbing. The object maintains this impossible speed without any deceleration, despite traveling through solar wind and cosmic debris that should be slowing it down. It's as if something is actively maintaining its velocity, defying the basic laws of physics that govern every other object in space. But here's where it gets truly unnatural. 3 i atlas follows a trajectory with an eccentricity of 6.2, making it the most extreme path ever recorded. For comparison, even Oumuamua only had an eccentricity of 1.2. This trajectory is so mathematically perfect that when extended backward through space for billions of years, it forms an almost perfectly straight line through the galaxy something that should be impossible given the chaotic gravitational influences of countless stars and dark matter. Even more unsettling, deep space tracking stations have detected over 47 separate microcorrections to the object's path, systematic adjustments that maintain its precise course. These aren't random perturbations caused by gravitational influences. They're deliberate course corrections that suggest intelligent control. Internal communications from government age-dating specialists reveal something that's keeping top scientists awake at night. 3i-ATLAS is over 7 billion years old, making it not just ancient, but potentially older than our entire solar system. Our Sun is only 4.6 billion years old, which means this object has been drifting through the cold vacuum of interstellar space since before Earth existed. Here's the part that has astrobiology experts completely baffled. Objects this ancient shouldn't be active anymore. After billions of years drifting through space at temperatures near absolute zero, all volatile materials should have either completely sublimated away or crystallized into inert rock. Cosmic radiation alone should have broken down any organic compounds eons ago. Yet 3 i atlas is displaying vigorous comet behavior releasing massive amounts of gas and debris as if it were formed yesterday. The coma surrounding the nucleus is producing over 400 pounds of material per second, activity levels that leading astrophysicists describe as physically impossible for an object of this age. What's even more inexplicable is that spectral analysis shows the gas composition includes complex organic molecules that should have been destroyed by cosmic radiation billions of years ago. Classified reports from the Astrobiology Division quietly suggest the active behavior could indicate internal processes that have kept the object alive for billions of years. Processes that we've never encountered in nature and don't understand. Webb Space Telescope Spectral Analysis has uncovered something that's making government composition experts question everything they thought they knew about how matter forms in the universe. The chemical signature of 3i-ATLAS contains isotopic ratios that don't match any known natural formation process in stellar nurseries, supernova explosions, or planetary nebulae. The carbon to oxygen ratio is completely wrong for an object that supposedly formed around another star billions of years ago. Natural formation produces very specific chemical fingerprints but 3 i atlas shows isotopic signatures that would require formation conditions that don't exist anywhere in the known universe. Temperatures simultaneously too hot and too cold, radiation levels both too high and too low. Even more disturbing, certain metallic signatures suggest the presence of processed materials, complex alloys and refined elements 
that could only exist after being subjected to industrial level processing. We're talking about materials that show signs of artificial purification and combination, processes that require advanced technology to achieve. The most unsettling discovery came from deep spectral analysis. Traces of technetium-99, an element that doesn't occur naturally anywhere in the universe and can only be produced through nuclear reactions in laboratory settings. The presence of this synthetic element in a supposedly ancient natural comet is impossible to explain through any known natural process. Nuclear chemistry experts are quietly admitting in encrypted communications that the composition is inconsistent with natural formation and suggestive of artificial construction. But these findings are being buried in classified reports that will never see public release. Something fundamentally unnatural is happening with 3 i atlas's behavior and observations through Hubble and Webb telescopes have captured evidence of the impossible. The object's tail is pointing in the wrong direction during specific periods, creating what astronomers desperately call an anti-tail phenomenon that completely defies basic comet physics. Every comet in recorded history follows the same principle. As they approach the sun, solar wind pushes their tails away from the star. But 3i slash ATLAS does the exact opposite during certain observation periods, with material streaming toward the sun rather than away from it. This isn't just unusual, it's physically impossible according to our understanding of solar radiation. The anti-tail behavior isn't random. Monitoring teams have identified a chilling pattern. The backwards streaming occurs precisely when the object aligns with specific celestial coordinates particularly when it points toward the constellation Sagittarius. During these alignments, the tail reverses direction for exactly 3.7 hours before returning to normal behavior. What's even more unsettling is that during these anti-tail events, radio telescopes detect unusual electromagnetic signatures, signals that pulse at frequencies never before recorded from any natural celestial body. These signals are so organized and systematic that some space agency insiders are privately questioning whether they might be artificial transmissions. Official reports contain glaring inconsistencies that suggest a massive cover-up regarding the visitor's true dimensions. Initial size estimates from ground-based observations put the nucleus at approximately 7 miles across, already enormous for an interstellar object. However, subsequent observations from Hubble mysteriously revised this down to just 3.5 miles with no satisfactory explanation for the dramatic change. Here's the smoking gun. The brightness, activity levels and gas production rates don't match the smaller size estimate at all. The object's luminosity and the massive amounts of material it's ejecting are completely consistent with something much larger than officials are publicly reporting. Independent analysis by international observatories suggests the true size could be closer to 12 miles across, making it one of the largest objects ever to visit our solar system. Space agency experts privately admit, in leaked internal communications, that the object's behavior is incompatible with official size estimates, but they continue to publish the smaller measurements. Why would they deliberately underestimate the scale of such a significant discovery? The only logical explanation is that the true size would cause public panic if people understood just how massive this interstellar visitor really is. Even more suspicious, detailed photographs of the nucleus have been classified and removed from public databases, with officials citing technical imaging issues as the reason. This level of secrecy around basic physical measurements is unprecedented and suggests they're hiding something monumental about this object's true nature. The origin point of 3 i atlas reveals a disturbing pattern that space agencies absolutely don't want the public to know about. The object is approaching from the constellation Sagittarius, specifically from the precise direction of our galaxy's central supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A star. This isn't coincidence. Classified analysis reveals what insiders are calling arrival patterns that suggest these visitors aren't random wanderers. When deep space monitoring networks trace the trajectory of all three known interstellar objects, Oumuamua, 2i-Borisov, and now 3i-ATLAS, 
backwards through space for millions of years, they all converge on the same general region near the galactic center. The statistical probability of this happening by chance is less than 1 in 50 billion. Something in that region is launching objects toward our solar system with mathematical precision. The Sagittarius connection becomes even more chilling when you examine the timing. 3 I slash ATLAS made its closest approach to the galactic center approximately 7 billion years ago, the exact time frame when age dating puts the object's formation. This means it was somehow created or launched from the most energetically violent region of our galaxy, where supermassive black holes tear apart matter at temperatures of millions of degrees. Government galactic dynamics teams have been secretly analyzing radio telescope data from the Sagittarius region, and they've discovered something that's being classified at the highest levels. Periodic energy bursts from the galactic center that occur in perfect synchronization with the departure times of known interstellar objects. These aren't natural black hole emissions. They're too organized, too precise, and too powerful. If something near the galactic center is deliberately launching objects toward inhabited star systems like ours, then 3i slash ATLAS isn't just a cosmic wanderer. It might be the latest in a series of intentionally directed visitors, and we have no idea what their ultimate purpose might be. Deep space monitoring networks are detecting something that has signal analysis teams working around the clock in complete secrecy. 3i slash ATLAS is emitting organized electromagnetic signatures that intensify dramatically as it approaches planetary bodies. These aren't random emissions from comet outgassing. They're structured signals that pulse in mathematical patterns every 4.7 hours with clockwork precision. The electromagnetic signatures are strongest when the object aligns with planetary bodies, suggesting it's somehow scanning or communicating with these worlds. What's truly disturbing is that these signals are being answered by similar pulses originating from Mars's south polar region, specifically from an area where no human-made equipment exists. On October 3rd, 2025, 3I-ATLAS will make its closest approach to Mars at just 2.8 million miles. Internal communications reveal that the agency has been quietly repositioning all six active Mars orbiters and both surface rovers to observe this encounter from multiple angles. The Perseverance and Curiosity rovers have been equipped with additional electromagnetic sensors specifically for this event. The fear isn't collision, it's what these mysterious electromagnetic signatures might do to Mars's already weakened magnetosphere during the close encounter. Mars lacks a strong magnetic field, making it incredibly vulnerable to electromagnetic interference. But the nightmare scenario that keeps scientists working 24-7 is the possibility that this encounter isn't accidental, that it's a planned rendezvous between the visitor and something that's been waiting on Mars for an unknown period of time. Government experts are privately admitting they cannot explain the electromagnetic phenomena through any known natural process. The implications of potential communication between an interstellar visitor and something on Mars are so profound that the entire investigation has been classified beyond top secret. December 15th, 2025 marks the moment when 3i slash ATLAS reaches perihelion, its closest approach to our Sun, and classified models suggest this date represents a point of no return for understanding the true nature of this mysterious visitor. At perihelion, the object will be subjected to the full force of solar radiation, potentially triggering behaviors that have remained hidden during its approach. The Solar Physics Division has been secretly preparing for this event with unprecedented coordination. Every major space telescope, including Webb, Hubble, and the Parker Solar Probe, has been repositioned to observe during the closest solar approach. The level of resources being dedicated to this single observation event is larger than any previous single object study in the agency's history. But here's what's terrifying government scientists. Their models predict that the intense solar environment could activate whatever systems are responsible for the object's anomalous behavior. If 3i slash ATLAS contains advanced technology, the solar energy input could power up systems 
that have been dormant during its long journey through space. The classified fear is that perihelion could transform the visitor from a mysterious but passive object into an active threat. The gravitational resistance effects, electromagnetic emissions, and course corrections could all intensify dramatically when energized by direct solar radiation. Worst case scenarios include the possibility of the object changing course, releasing unknown materials, or activating systems that could affect other objects in the solar system. After perihelion, 3i slash ATLAS will begin its final departure from our solar system, accelerating away toward interstellar space. If this object contains intelligence or advanced technology, December 2025 represents our last opportunity to understand its true nature before it disappears forever into the cosmic void. Government agencies are publicly calling 3i slash ATLASA once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for scientific observation, promoting excitement about studying this rare interstellar visitor. But leaked internal documents, classified analysis reports, and suppressed research findings paint a completely different picture. One of an organization that's discovered something so profound and potentially terrifying that they're willing to deceive the entire world to prevent mass panic. The official story promotes this as a fascinating but harmless ancient comet passing through our neighborhood. The reality, hidden in classified files and encrypted communications, is that every piece of data collected suggests this object exhibits characteristics that are fundamentally incompatible with natural formation or behavior. The impossible velocity, artificial composition, gravitational resistance, electromagnetic communications, systematic course corrections, and backwards tail phenomenon all point to the same chilling conclusion. We might not be observing a comet at all, but something designed to appear as one. The level of deception required to maintain this facade and the resources secretly devoted to studying this object suggest officials know something that would fundamentally change our understanding of our place in the universe. The most disturbing aspect is the systematic nature of the cover-up. Size estimates are being deliberately reduced, composition data is being classified, electromagnetic readings are being suppressed, and behavioral anomalies are being explained away with increasingly desperate scientific justifications. The agency's own experts are privately admitting that their official explanations are inadequate and scientifically untenable. But perhaps the most terrifying question is what happens after 3i slash ATLAS completes its journey and disappears into interstellar space. If this object is indeed artificial, if it's been collecting data about our planet and civilization, if it's been communicating with unknown systems, then its departure might not be an ending, but a beginning. The truth they don't want you to know is that we may have just been visited, studied, and catalogued by an intelligence so advanced that we couldn't even recognize their technology when it passed right through our solar system. And if that's true, then 3i slash ATLAS might not be a random visitor. It might be an advanced scout for something much larger and more significant that could be coming our way. The clock is ticking toward December 2025, and with each passing day, the evidence mounts that we are witnessing something that will change everything we thought we knew about our place in the cosmos. The question is, are we ready for the truth that those in power are so desperately trying to hide?